Hi everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Parted Magic, which is an open source alternative to products like the AOMEI Partition Assistant. Let's get started. All right, we're at the Part Parted Magic website. Let me back up one step here. We'll go back to their main site. And so Parted Magic is going to need to be purchased, but it's at a very reasonable price. And for what you pay, you are getting a huge amount of value. So they do have an $11 purchase, which gets you a single version with the 14 day money back guarantee, or you can go for a $39 uh, purchase, which is a one year subscription. And that gets you access to all of the builds over the course of that year as well as development builds as they come out. So that's that's all and great, but let's uh, actually move over to VirtualBox and look at a real example. All right, we're back in VirtualBox and we're going to use this ENSO3 VM, which I previously created as part of one of the FOG videos. And it currently has a 30 gigabyte hard drive. And so we're gonna go into settings and we're going to change the boot options. And so we're going to select my Parted Magic ISO and we're going to jump back to system and we uh, we do in fact have optical drive set to boot first make sure we've got two processors there and say OK and so we'll go ahead and boot this And immediately you get a menu and there are different things that you can do with this menu. For this particular instance, we are going to choose the default settings and load the OS into RAM. And this will take just a moment or two to get prepped for us. And so here is one issue that you may run into on systems with low RAM. You have to have 3,418 megabytes installed. And this machine I had only prepped with two gigabytes of RAM. So hold that thought and I'll be right back. All right, things are looking much better this time around. We are copying files to RAM. And once this is done copying, we'll get our desktop and access to all of our utilities. And I'll be right back when this is ready to go.
All right, we've made it to the desktop. And so as you can see, it's a fairly standard looking Linux type desktop. And you've got a dock down at the bottom with several items. You've got icons on the desktop. And you've got a menu that has access to the full amount of options uh, for all the programs that are installed on the system. Uh, just to make this a little easier, I'm going to go to system and we're going to see about adjusting the screen resolution. All right, and we are going to use 1440 by 900 just to give us a little more space to work with. Okay, so the main feature of this software is the disk partitioning. And so right here on the desktop, we've got partition editor. And we'll get that opened up. And this is GParted. And so it is right now showing our default virtual hard disk for this VM. And it is a 30 gig hard disk, virtual hard disk. And the actual used amount is only not quite nine and a half gigs. So we could very easily resize this. Right click on the partition, select resize or move, and then you can take and make this a different size. And so one of the reasons that you'd want to do this is if you are going to clone your hard disk. If that's something you're looking to do, then you really don't have to clone all of the empty space. This is also useful if you're going from a large spinning hard drive to a smaller size solid state drive. And in that instance, you need to resize your disk in order for that image to fit on your new drive. So we're going to resize this from 30 gigs and we're going to, whoops, we are going to go to about 10. We'll take it down to 10. about 12 gigs. Okay, we've got it down to 12 gigs and we click resize. So we've got an additional amount of space here that is unallocated. And we can leave that unallocated. We don't have to use that. So if we then click the check mark it will apply the operations, apply, and this will take just a moment or two, and we will have a new smaller partition, which 
in the case of using Fog or Clonezilla or Rescuezilla or any similar software to deploy this image out places, the smaller the image, the quicker it's going to deploy. So this is worth taking into consideration if you are going to be deploying to a number of devices. So I'll give this a couple of moments to finish copying and resizing, and I will come back for some additional commentary. All right, we've reached the end. We're going to go ahead and say close, and then we can close gparted. And at this point, we can come to our menu, and we can shut this down. All right. So at this point, we'll just remove the virtual optical disk from storage and it actually remove by itself. So we're going to go ahead and boot up this machine one more time. And we should, once we're booted, we should show the smaller drive size for that partition at least. And that's booting up just fine. And we'll get to the desktop momentarily take a look at the file manager to show our partition size and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up. All right, I'll go ahead and log in. And we'll get the desktop here in a moment. Okay. 
So we're here at the desktop. And we'll see. Jump into the file manager. Maybe. Nope. Come on. Okay, so we're going to go to display, bump up that resolution again. There we go. Much better. Okay, can we get to file manager? Is it running? There we go. Okay, so if we go to file system, it is showing seventy nine percent used, but it's showing the size being eleven point four gigabytes. And that is the size that we resize to. So again, if you were going to deploy this out, uh, well, first of all, you'd want to use an OEM install, uh, but you'd want to make that disk size as small as possible, and you could deploy it to as many different drive sizes as you need. So. That's going to wrap up this video. There is more to come for Part Ed Magic, the product, and covering all of the features. And we will be doing that in the coming weeks and months. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you got something out of this, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave comments down below. If there's something specific you want to see from the functionality of Parted Magic, the product, let me know and I will try to make that happen if I have the equipment to do so. On that note, thank you once again. Stay safe out there. Happy computing and have a great day.